Welcome back to Ice Hogs Warm-Up. Joseph Zakszewski with you, joined alongside head coach Jeremy Collin for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the Game as the Rockford Ice Hogs continuing on this three-game swing through the state of California, all part of a six-game road trip. And Jeremy, you got this road trip off on a great start just the other night down in Ontario, California. A big 5-2 victory. You get a hat-trick performance from William Peltier, a guy that's had plenty of scoring chances here recently, and then a three-point performance from one of your blue liners in Victor Spedberg. So for you, I mean, that had to be a wealth of confidence as a coaching staff and as everybody in that locker room to begin this uh, lengthy trip yeah it was a real good performance from us I thought uh, maybe not the start we wanted first few shifts were a little bit uh, you know behind the eight balls maybe not up to speed not up to the pace we want to be at and you know, we give up the goal there and they had a couple other chances but I thought as that first period went on we got better and better started moving our feet a little bit more and uh, forced their D to make plays under pressure we started to create some more zone time and force turnovers and um, Overall, I just think it was really nice to see the, the uh, you know, it was professional, very professional uh, game from us. And, uh, and we kind of said after the game, we've had maybe more impressive games as far as how we played, uh, maybe prettier to watch, but this was, um, these kind of habits, this kind of game, that's what gets you, uh, you know, you can have a winning season, you can be uh, ready to play in the NHL, ready to contribute there. So. Uh, I think there's a nice step forward, and now we see if we can follow it up. Now, how do you continue this moving into tonight's contest? Again, you're taking on the San Jose Barracuda, first time this season, just the first of two matchups, so it's another team, much like Ontario, that you don't see a whole lot. In fact, the Ice Hogs organization hasn't seen them in the past couple of seasons, so I'd imagine getting off to a better start compared to what you saw on Wednesday night in Ontario had to be a, a major talking to uh, this morning at Morning Skate. Uh, yeah, of, of course, we want to get a good start. I, I think uh, the focus is more so on... Um, playing a professional game uh, good decisions with and without the puck uh, move the puck forward force their D to go back and, and get pucks under pressure uh, you know try and tilt the game tilt the ice as much as we can and if we do that then likely there will be some plays to be made we'll have some space to uh, create offense and uh, but I just think I really liked the the mindset of the group we're hard to play against we're physical and uh, now we got to, you know, hopefully create some consistency with that approach, and we'll, we'll get some good results. Chat with head coach Jeremy Calden here on Ice Hogs Warm Up, getting you all set up for tonight's matchup against San Jose. And coach, you talk about the the professionalism of your group on the ice, but I imagine that it has to speak volumes professionally off the ice as well, with just all the transactions, all the news surrounding the hockey team. It's easy to to be distracted and let your mind wander a little bit if you're a player or a coaching staff. How do you feel like your team has responded with the uh, the changing roster and the changing lineup that you've had over the past couple of days? Yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, there's I think this whole month there's been some some in and out and some movement and uh we've said it before we, we it shouldn't matter uh the core group the you know, the base of our team should be the same all the time as far as our approach and uh hopefully you can just slide the new guys in and they they uh you know just add to it so um it's i think it, it's an excuse or it's a distraction if you make it uh, i don't think it is for these guys well, talking about one of the new guys, you get some guys that was at one point a former Ice Hog makes his return to the lineup. Defenseman Adam Clendenning coming over in the trade with the Arizona Coyotes and the Chicago Blackhawks. What are you looking for him to help contribute to this lineup? I know uh, he's going to try and learn everything on the fly, if you will, but uh, certainly some experience and some leadership uh, coming back into your lineup. Yeah, it's nice to add another guy who's played some games and some seasons, and there's a little bit of familiarity. Uh, he knows a few guys and the organization. and uh, You know, we just... We want him to, we know he's got some skill, we know he can make some plays and that's great, but uh, you know, we don't need to uh, try and win the game on uh, every shift. It's uh, Sometimes you just got to make a boring decision and I think uh, if we do that then he's a good enough player, he'll see when there's plays available to be made. Uh, we just, we want to, you know, stay within ourselves here as a group and um, be hard to play against, force teams to earn everything they get, and so that's what we're looking for to him. And then finally, you're taking on San Jose, a team that, as we mentioned before, you haven't seen a whole lot of, so in the video preparations, I know it's a quick turnaround from what you saw in Ontario to what you're seeing in San Jose, but I'd imagine a similar style in terms of that West Coast, so I imagine you can almost replicate uh, Wednesday into today. Yeah, they're similar teams. Uh, it's, you know, it's said this before it was boring it's a boring answer but <laughs> we're not too concerned about yeah. about the opposition we we're still trying to find our own way as far as our identity goes and so 
I think when you're in that situation, you don't want to be going back and forth and giving one message one day and another another in a day. It's just not, especially for a young team, it's not what they need. So we're uh, we're focused on our identity, how we want to play, and uh, if there's some small tweaks here and there, some small information we'll give these guys, um, yeah, we'll do that, but there's no big adjustments. Coach, thank you. Good luck tonight. You bet. Thank you. Head coach Jeremy Collin joining us here on Ice Hogs, a warm-up for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the game. The puck dropped just right around the corner here at SAP Center in San Jose, California. You're watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network.